Kibiegon. Oh, the FC Leopards left uh, side of defense. Doesn't give a very good pass here. It's one of those games, again, when you lose possession, you really must wonder and worry about that loss of possession is going to do to you. Well, the fight to keep it in possession here. Ultimately, kept by Gormaya, getting it back onto the right side. Kahata chips it on his favor, left foot, the header! Oh, the goalkeeper has built it! And Kip Kurui pounces, or rather, Jack Twisenge pounces on it! Kip Kurui pounces on it with Jack Twisenge in tow. But nothing prolific, it's just that the goalkeeper spots it out. And Korbaya opened the scoring here at the Moore International Sports Centre, Kasarani. Well, Kahata chips it in the header, and then the goalkeeper leaves it loose with Kip Kirui pouncing into it between the defender and the goalkeeper and pushing it into the net. Well, the goalkeeper Wadi should have taken that one. The defenders should have cleared that one. Santer Kayumba is near there. This is coming in his side. He doesn't arrive there on time. Let's put it the other way around. Kip Kirui. David Ching finally coming into the picture for the Leopards. Oh, but they lose position. Dangerously close to their area. And Gormaya take advantage of that to put the ball in the net. It's gonna be Kip Kirui again celebrating. But that's a self-inflicted blunder here. Well, Kip Kirui, we weren't talking about him having content loss in this match. He becomes the poacher here. And he's preying on a very dangerous animal called the Leopard. Well, Kip Kirui gets on to this court shot again. Oh, just the defenders opening up too easily. Kip Kirui going on the left foot. I'm not sure what the defenders will say here. They are all chasing the ball. They have left the goalkeeper bare. Kip Kirui looks at the distance. He knows there's nobody on the other side. He doesn't have to work too hard either. He plants it on the near post, Jacob. Well, who's aside? Who's aside will be blamed for that one, but uh, you have to give it up again for Kirui. He scored a brilliant goal. He's goal number ninth for the season. And uh, the way he has planted that ball home, it's on the near post. The goalkeeper... There's a very funny kind of collision there. But that's the same man who recently played for Lindsay Dixie. So he should have been going... Oh, ho, ho! Well, Kirui wants to get the triple here. My goodness, this is one of the easiest goals you would say here. Tuisenge puts it in the net. But what's going on with the defense there, Jacob? It's difficult to understand. I actually did think that the ball had stopped there. But Tuisenge has put the ball in the net. Kirui just playfully wanted to chip the goalkeeper. But the defenders let him go in, Jacob. Well, Leopards will have themselves to blame here because they did not play to the whistle. Here it is again. They didn't play to the whistle. The, the ball was still in play here. This ball is in play. Look at it's still in play. Well, the ball has gone already. Well, maybe out there. Play, maybe yes. there. That ball was already out. But they should have chased here. Well, oh, this will be contentious. This will be contentious. But the whole of the ball had gone up, and that's why. Salim Abdallah relaxed because he saw the whole of the ball was out. But they say you play to the whistle. Where is the assistant? Where is the referee? Play to the whistle. Oh, what well, it does his best then. But then no one's mocking to sing it. No one. Shakava. Then gives it to Josh. 
today outstanding in that defense role for Godmaya Jacob. Well, this has been taken very easily. The shot, it's in the net. The Leopards ultimately find their shooting boots with one moment of a lack of concentration here. They have at least a reason to celebrate coming from uh, the left foot of Oburu. Yes, Vincent Oburu. It was a mistake by Josh Onyango. Look at the kind of pass he gave to Shakava. He didn't realize there was somebody there. By the time he's recovering, he's punished directly. Well, Oburu suddenly then shows the predatory instincts of a striker. Runs the defender, sends the ball away from the goalkeeper who tries to cover the distance, uh, but a little bit too late here. Goes in the direction, but the ball stretches into the maximum. Scoreline changes. It's 3 1. Jacob, I told you, you got to watch the last eight minutes of the game as well. Things do happen in the game of football. Well, you said it. Congratulations. You win the second derby the second time, and this keeps only two points away from clinching the league. How do you feel? It's fantastic. Great. For me, as I said, derby is it's anything that happen. It's not the form seems to win sometimes. But I was expecting this result. You know, I said to the, some of the boys, 4-1, 5-1. And uh, I still I take for 3-1, clean 3-1. We dominate the game. 10 minutes to go. We should have scored another two and three. I'm proud of my boys. We had to all control. We dominate the games. To me, it wasn't like, it doesn't look like the derby. Just only crowd. But the playing side, we had to all control. It's fantastic. Now you have only uh, three games to go, and uh, you, your team, in this game, you pressed so hard when Leopards had the ball. You didn't give them opportunity to play the passes. What is the new thing that you brought into Goma here? Look, uh, Zoya game, first of all, Zoya game, it's, it's my fault, wrong preparation. I take all the responsibility. We dropped the three points there, but I knew today my boys was going to get it right. And we did, we did, and uh, I'm happy. I'm very happy. My, my last question, are you retaining the league or not? Still early, still early. I don't talk, uh, you know, straight away forward. We, had to, we have chance, we have chance, and we, uh, we have to concentrate the next game. Thank you very much, and congratulations for the second derby win. Thank you very much, Asetesana. Thank you.